Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Creative Companions. I'm Kim. I'm Jenny. <laughs> this is Jenny. She's our guest artist today. She's going to be beading and talking about her creative process with beads. I'm going to be painting today on a canvas. Um, you all at home, just whatever you want to do. If you want to follow me as misguided painting and make a painting today, you're welcome to do that. Grab your cardboard or whatever. Um, I'm just using all the colors, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and white, no black. Um, and that's, I'm going to try to follow along with that. And we're going to just collaborate and come up with something from our imaginations that is in alignment with each other energetically in some fashion. Yes. So we'll be <laughs> sharing creative energy here in our space. There's two viewers. Good. It's going to be hard for me to see comments today, y'all, because I'm using my phone instead of my laptop. Um, I'm going to go play around with the settings here and see if I can see the comments. And y'all let me know that you can hear me okay and everything. Hmm. Hi, Joni. Good. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, wait. This is probably comments. No, that's to write a comment. I don't want to write a comment. Hmm. Not sure how to see the comments. All right. Well, just know I can't see your comments. If anybody... I was going to say comment and let me know how to do that. <laughs> That's not going to work. Um, oh, wait. Yes. I. Oh, good. Comments. I can see your comments. You can't get the sound to work. I'd say turn up your volume. Um, I don't know what else to say about sound. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, everybody. We always start with the breath, right? Focusing on the breath. Breath always comes first. So, it might have been chaotic for you to get here. It was a little chaotic for me and Jenny to get here and get everything working to be able to come to you live. So wherever you are, just start deepening your breath, whatever that means to you. Take a nice deep breath in and start relaxing into your now. You have time to gather your things. Just take your time. We're going to meditate, of course, before we start the creative process today. And we usually don't start meditating till 10 or 11 after. So I'm glad you all are here. It's good to be here now. Continue to breathe. Get yourself something to drink. You're going to want to be comfortable. We try to spend about an hour with creative companions. I believe in you. Thanks for believing in me and showing up. I hear Jennifer gathering beads. I'm going to go ahead and load my palette with all the colors. I'm going to be making a painting today. So if you want to follow me as your guide, I'll try to keep my canvas visible to you. Um, Jenny, do you like me to call you Jenny or Jennifer? Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> so Jenny's going to be um, beating, and we're going to be sharing energy and conversation in this space and talking about the creative process in respect to collaborations and how <laughs> we affect one another. So, like, this is an experiment that... A total experiment, you guys. Yeah, and I, I was going to say, I don't know which one of us suggested this experiment, but we've been having coffee occasionally, and one of us suggested, hey, like, we could do it at the same time and see what we each come up with, and then... Well, I'm going to be honest. This has been a dream of mine for a long time, is to collaborate with an artist and design a piece that energetically comes from the artist, and then I do a, a jewelry design from that piece. And I actually really have wanted to do, for, I don't know, four or five years, a show where the, the painting is done, and the art and the jewelry is right next to it, and oh. just see what so comes from that. So we're making the that. first piece. So this is the for first that show thing that we're, we're ever doing trying. It. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Oh, they do. They, they just got to do it. Yeah. So we're doing the thing, and you can do the thing too. So grab your things and get ready do to the do thing. the thing. So I'm loading my <laughs> palette right now, and we are. Realizing that when we get excited, our energy gets up. And, uh, I think I'm going to start with red. So I'm going to take some deep breaths. I'm going to put some red on here, too. So, And we and won't start creating till after meditation. 
We're just preparing our things right now. And it's funny because we, when we started, I was thinking red, orange, yellow, the real, real bright colors. And that's what she pulled out. Yes. <laughs> they were like, yes, it's yes, already working. It does. <laughs> you know, and yeah, the creative process is the most interesting thing to observe in ourselves what we end up creating. Watch yourself over a lifetime and see all the funny, interesting beautiful things that you create like you won't imagine right at the moment absolutely you know what i'm saying no, it's totally true. like we're just like experimenting all the time well you know, a lot of times when we're in this kind of culture that focuses so much on the mind we won't catch it at all like we'll That's be right. so focused on the mind that we won't realize energetically all of this magic that we just did with our intuition. Right. So it's super important to slow it down and notice patterns energetically that you're creating around your intuition because it's going to be more active in you if you focus on that as opposed to the mind. I love that she said slow it down <laughs> and focus. Focus, 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 friends. On your breath for a second. Like, okay. Slow it down. We're just going to slow it down. Maybe becoming still where you are. Finding a place of stillness within. We're just going to meditate here. I'm just going to breathe for a few minutes and give you a few minutes to finish filling your palate or, or whatever you were doing at the moment. When you're done with that, though, find stillness. Take some deep breaths. If you're sitting... Align your spine nice and straight. Feel your feet connected to the floor if you're standing. Feel that nice connection to the earth. And just breathing. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. Just breathing. Really relaxing into your physical body, feeling comfortable now in here. A good safe place to be, comfortable and warm. Nice deep breaths, we're just meditating, not thinking, not worrying, just breathing. The sounds around us help us to relax more. Just breathing now. A few more deep breaths. Perhaps imagine the light, the energy coming into the third eye, the crown chakra. As you inhale, kind of wash down. Perhaps on the inhale, it comes back up through the feet. Now, meld together with us. We're going to use all the colors, exciting all the chakras and all the energies. Breathing. Kind of continue to breathe through the creative process so that the flow can just go with ease. Continuing to breathe, you might open your eyes now and look around you now. Really great to be here. It's really totally. good to be here with you. I think like, so too. yay, we're doing a thing. We're doing a new thing. We're doing a thing. The new year. <laughs> and I'm grateful that you all are here. Thank you so much for showing up. Um, we're gonna get right to it now. I'm gonna grab a big brush. I have my container of water here. I'm gonna get like a nice big brush to start. So you might not have canvas at home, but I bet you have cardboard. So cardboard, we typically do paint on cardboard for creative companions because cardboard is so easy to come by and you can transform it into something beautiful so quickly. Acrylic paint moves really nicely on cardboard. Um, I am choosing to use a canvas today. Katie, Katie May said to me yesterday, hey Kim, that's a big deal and so are you. So this is a big deal that I get to paint with Jenny, and so I'm using a canvas today. Aww. <laughs> and I grabbed a big brush. <laughs> and just continuing to breathe, you know, when you're practicing 
something new or your favorite art form. Man, it's a nice day. It's so, a beautiful day. based on a nice day, I'm starting with some yellow. And I, I really like doing this with the brush. And I'm just going... Oh, oh that's my bunny upstairs. She's, that's nice. She's hopping around and having fun, I think. That's nice. I don't know. She's having... She's having a heyday. So, I like to make a... Like, a, smash my brush and turn it in a circle. You can make... Perfect circles that way. I'm going to do some yellow too. So I did a yellow this circle and do. now I'm going to do an orange. Go ahead. So she's going to be. Yeah. Oh, maybe you could show a bracelet to them to oh, show yeah, where so you're easy. headed. Here. So this is um, sacred. Is, tell them the name of your. Um, my bracelets are called Sacred Bracelets Intuitive Design Studios. That's my business. And I design bracelets for people based on their own intuitive needs. So I pick up energetically what's going on intuitively with them and create a tailored piece for them to work energetically with where they're at in their life. So some people like chakras. Some people work with a particular animal totem. Some people have a picture that's particularly meaningful for them. And I can create that in a bracelet for them to work with energetically with a living symbol. So this is just one example of a creation. This is the Queen of uh, Pentacles bracelet. So in the tarot, there's a call, card called the Queen of Pentacles, which is all about earth energy, um, stability, um, fecundity, like uh, fruitfulness. Um, it's this queen that's this earthy queen who has everything that she needs around her and is creating her life on a day-to-day -day basis. So. I made this from the card itself, and it's got beads and top beads that are stranded and, and um, beaded around that, and then it's got sari strips and stones, all sorts of stuff. So they're so awesome, an and they're all so different. And I've loved watching Jennifer <laughs> for years, like and seeing what different things she's come up with. Like, but I've never got to watch the process before. So, so here we go. Yeah. So. <laughs> So you get I'm going to watch. start with yellow. I've never done this, you guys. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Yeah, so you all go ahead and grab whatever your creative tools you want to use. If you want to paint with me, um, so far we have created a yellow circle with this really big fat brush. And I love to make circles with different size brushes, but I'm going to make another orange circle. And I guess, you know, creatively, everything like this is a totally affects process. what you're doing. And I've been live painting at festivals and stuff for years and like allowing the energy of, around me to affect what appears on the canvas. And it's been a really interesting process, you know? Yeah, totally. And then like just energetically everything like you see, you smell, you experience, you all your senses, like it's going to affect what happens with your I art. I would say I'm doing a bunch of circles because, well, beads are circular and you got that circular wire. Oh, <laughs> and the same oh, so colors. Look. I mean, this is crazy. Can you see how look, good it matches? See the light peach. <laughs> like, we, oh, this we is funny, We weren't looking at each other when we did that. <laughs> we just did that intuitively. That's yeah. just freaking crazy. And, and I love it. <laughs> turning the thinking brain off mm -hmm. for me is how you get to it, how you get to the intuition, how you get to a new thing in your art, you know? Is, do you well, agree like, with that? Absolutely, and it's so important to turn the thinking brain off. Not because there's anything wrong with the thinking brain. The thinking brain is necessary, but the thing is, we are a culture that is so steeped in the thinking brain that it's like topsy-turvy, right? right? So we have to come down from that and go into the feminine space, the intuitive space, the the space of story, you know? I, I like to say the part of you that knows that you know. Exactly. That's a really great way of saying you it. You know, it knows that you know, you know I, that you know. A They're really like, way of saying it. All these gray hairs help me know that I know. I know, that <laughs> crone energy. Right. Yeah, yeah, I just know. That. And like, and that, yeah, that crone energy. And the mama's got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, mom is gotcha. I like that too. That's a yeah. great idea. All right, I'm looking for red beads. So here, guys. yeah, look here now. I got some. I'm gonna switch brushes now. So I'm just man. Me and River like doing this. Yeah. It's just making circles by smushing the brush onto the canvas and spinning it, 
and the size of the brush is going to determine the size of the circle. Is this in your way at all? No. So I'm going to grab a different size brush now. Ba -ba -ba. You know, so we're always like sharing it. I just said to, um, so I live with, if you don't know me, I'm Kim, hi. <laughs> I miss God in painting. I live with my daughter and uh, her family, her husband and her one-year-old, who's 13 months old now. And uh, I walked into the room and it was chaos, baby screaming, parents flustering about, no one, ah! So and I, um, Took some deep breaths and said, y'all know it's an, always an ex energy exchange. It's always an energy exchange. We're always exchanging totally. energy. So when it comes to parenting, we can remember that we're the grown-up and we know how to take deep breaths and help the energy settle and be more easy. Well, you know, and that is... Uh, go on, sorry. It's a learned thing. Yeah. <laughs> I was Go. just going to say, it's totally a choice, right? It is a choice. And it has a lot to do with who you align with energetically, how you do that. And if you allow yourself to do that. And the reality is, you know, if we don't allow ourselves to do that as we age, our lives become smaller and smaller because we have so many rules that are associated with things that we don't let ourselves spread out and try new things. And I think it's so important to allow ourselves to try new things. You know, uh, yes, it is. Yes. To stay young, to stay um, energetically, you know, open and, and to release things and to allow ourselves to release things. Our culture certainly doesn't. You know, there's been a, like a, a lot of talk about breaking the boxes and coming out of the boxes. I don't know if you could see Oh, I like, that. yeah. That's great, well, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. How fun is that? I haven't been looking at what you're doing I like, either. Yeah, it's good. And, yeah, I, Feeling the feels, you know. Um, this is, for me, art is a recovery program. And if you've dealt with any kind of addiction, you know you got to get used to feeling the feels again. Totally. You've been numb for years, maybe. You know, I get really depressed and withdrawn. That's a numbness. And, and when you're in that numb space, you're not feeling the feels. And I get mad sometimes because I have a lot of um, fire in my chart. You can look energetically at where, where you're energetically bound intuitively and notice like where you get glopped up. So if you have a lot of fire in your chart, you might get mad, um, right? If that's uh, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. If you have a lot of air in your chart, you might overthink or you might just kind of space out and not be able to attach to anything. So it's just really interesting to think if you have a lot of water in your chart, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, you might get really, really sad and hold on to a lot of tears and that sort of thing. But the thing about creative endeavors is it helps you process all of that. That's right. And come back to the center again and find yourself and clear all of that stuff, which we need practices to do. I like that. And that's really helping with like, I'm constantly trying to go explain to people, why do we do these things? Yeah. Why do I do this once a week? Yeah. What she said. What Jenny just said. Right? <laughs> Here, let me bring so mine up too. I brought that up to show you. Let me bring mine up And let's too. see what she's got going on here. Okay. Let's see. I haven't done the top beating yet, but there. So creative mine. experimentation. And we you know? really haven't been looking at each no. other's a lot. And look how similar, similar. they and are. And for me, They're this is not back. like any starting point I've ever started at before. And that's the other thing well, with you your creative. Make circles like that? Yeah, <laughs> with your creative process, if you think about, maybe you make music, maybe you make jewelry. Um, maybe you start at the same starting point every time. And so doing something that causes you to start a the creative place. process at a different place. Totally, totally. Really, like, right? Right. Um, shakes it up energetically for you and introduces newness. Um, man, like painting outside for me right. was yeah, like a whole different sure. thing. And to be, then you're influenced so much by the environment. Um, even, so the first time it started to rain when I was painting outside, my trained brain said, ah, run to dryness. And so I grabbed the canvas and ran under the tent. And then I was like, wait a second. Oh, I'm about being here now. 
and creating in the moment and creating with nature. So let's put that back out there in the rain. Ooh. And I did that and I allowed it to rain on the canvas. Oh, and so cool. It was, and it, you know, it created so like cool. this drip effect that like That's I'd have never so thunk up on. on my own. Or allowed to happen if right. you try to control the situation. That's it, to control. I've been hearing all a lot about letting go of the need to control. Well, you know, and I think about control and I think a lot about, you know, if you are struggling with trying to control things beyond your control, it isn't your fault. We live in a culture that totally reinforces that. We're so... Um, mechanized and so broken apart by everything that we're looking at all the time that things kind of kind of um, you know get distorted and we have to pull them back to center so if you're struggling with that I think sometimes in the metaphysical community people will suggest that if you're struggling with something that's uncomfortable there's something wrong with you there's nothing wrong with you at all it, this culture makes people crazy and you have right. to find center again Right. Oh, look what happened when I added some contrast and put some blue in there. Rituals that help you do that. That's right. I'm sorry. I no, you're you fine. And, and no, she said fine. rituals that help you do that. And always a ritual. And what are you practicing? Exactly. You know, like your daily routines are your practice. That's right. And That's right. if you're not practicing anything that cares for yourself, for your soul, for your artist self, for your child self, um, Perhaps you want to address that and ask yourself, like, well, what does she want to do? Yeah, you what know? does that child want she to do? She wants to run in the sun in her bare feet and play in the paint. And, and to protect her means to provide her with those opportunities. Yeah, oh, I like that. Yes. So, yeah, it's all okay. And we just came here to play. And today's just today, and we're just here now. This is Jenny Seek, if you just got here, and she's making a bracelet while I make a painting. I'm glad you're all here now. Take a deep breath. In case you forgot to breathe. Um, my child self has been crying in the middle of the night, to be totally honest with you all. 3 o'clock a.m., 3 a.m., I've been waking crying with different things. Like, I don't want Daddy to even go to work. Well, Daddy died. Ooh. Ouch. Okay. So, the tears have been real close by, so... Um, I've been painting in black and white, too, and that's kind of... Like, yellow white. Like, an <laughs> indicator. Um, yeah. So, the child self is crying out in the night, is my point. And um, how do I, then, take care of her in my way? In my waking hours, you know, when I wake in the night and she's crying, I remember to open my eyes and go, you're here now, you're safe, warm and safe and comfortable. And I am, I am, but I'm also itchy bitchy and twitchy sometimes because I'm also menopausal. So there's a lot going on all the time. There's never nothing going on. Um, the best conversation you're having is with yourself, so. So... <laughs> anyway, I put her back to sleep, and then I, when I wake in the morning around 6 a.m., I usually hear the, the baby in my physical reality, which is my grandson, and I go down and he's smiling. So oh, that's, that's a beautiful reset. Um, I have a bunny, and I've set up a <laughs> I've set up stairs for her at the end of the bed um, so that she can go at the end of the bed and get her food there. I have a little um, snuffle mat for her there. A snuffle mat. That's where she goes and eats her food. And um, that really recenters me because she sits on the, on the, on the uh, rug at the base of the bed. And then when I put out her food, she... And so that is a really great ritual for me to recenter. Or if I have a bunch of clients or whatever, she... She, I just go back up there and snuggle her for a minute between clients. <laughs> I know a lot of us have cats. It really helps. And I just Whatever wanted to bring you this do. a little closer for a minute. Whatever I'm glad you, you all are here now. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see exactly who you are. <laughs> but I'm really glad you're here. Thanks for being with us. So I'm just working with circles. That's what's coming to my intuition. And I'll show you what she's I'm got doing. all these circles over here. 
Yeah, I'm working on them because, you know, I'll show you. I don't know if I can show you. It's a, so here. Do you want a blank background to put it against? Like my sure, canvas? yeah. Yeah. So this is what I'm working on, and I'm starting to build the design, and then I'll do it with these wires, which I'll wrap, which I'll show you how I do that, and then I'll put top beads on there. So it'll it'll kind of have a a very uh, what layered look to it. So when you create for your clients, yeah. do you typically have them present with you. No, sometimes every work? once in a while someone will come to the coffee shop and watch me do that. Sometimes I do a lot of different things. Sometimes clients will come to the house and pick from their their beads. So this is my alchemy bowl, and this is the process. So every bracelet that I design starts in this alchemy bowl, and the alchemy bowl is where the magic begins to happen. I pull the beads, and they steep and melt and mix and blend in the bowl, and then I go out into my life and do whatever I'm going to do, and uh, imagine what the bracelet's going to be. And that imagination process before the actual sitting down and beating is a huge part of the process. Um, and I kind of let that go. You know, I let that flow. I don't try to control that in any way or shape or form. I just trust what comes through in that first stage. And I think that's important, too, like whenever we're doing any creative work ourselves, is to trust that first stage of imagining what what's going to happen before we're actually ready to do the steps to make the thing happen. So, um, that's, I think that's good. You know, and like, um, you dream it up first, Totally. You, you know, once you've created it in your imagination, it's coming to life. That's right. It's, you know, and to realize that that is the first step of the process. That's really the first step of the process. You know, everything starts with like your imagination and a good idea. Absolutely. And then it's just a, Creating space to show up to do the thing. Yeah, for sure. Just doing the thing. How many years have you been doing the thing with the beading? Oh my gosh, since 2000 and, let's see, um, 2006, I had a job that I didn't love, and I uh, was let go, and I was actually able to prove that they let me go in a way that was not acceptable, and I got unemployment compensation. So instead of going out and getting another job that was just a crap job that I knew I didn't want, I stayed home and I trusted my intuition and I started designing these bracelets to work with a dream. And they came from a dream. I saw them in a dream. I was in a bazaar in India. And I looked at them and in the dream I said, I'm going to wake up and make those. And so that's what I did. Um, so yeah, so that's... And I that was love that. <laughs> kind of the you know, because it does all speech. start with a dream. And I know so, so many artists that it started with a sleeping dream while they were sleeping. And they woke and went, oh, one said, after the dream, I had to because the image of the thing that I was going to create was like wouldn't right there. Leave. And, it yeah. and it wouldn't leave me. Oh, and like, you know, and I have found that like, if you dream it up and then you push it aside and you put it under the bed, yeah. it gets back out. Yeah. It comes back up. Yeah. Oh, it you know? totally does because it's the unconscious and it wants to be known. Right. It wants to come into your conscious awareness, so it won't let you go. It's almost like, I don't know, it's got you or something. And what if you could just think, well, I wouldn't dream it if I'm not going to do it. I'm so grateful I'm going to do that. Exactly. Instead of I'm so scared of that, which and is what my consciousness wants to totally. do and my ego wants to do. Well, and if it was like your trajectory, right? Your trajectory was to trust that process of the imagination first. Like, that is where you yeah. went first. Yeah, what if we were trained like that? God, there's a group of people <laughs> in Malaysia called the Sanoi Dream Warriors. And um, they're an indigenous tribe. And that's what they do. They get up in the morning and they sit down with their kids and they ask what the dream brought them. And that's where they start in the daytime. I Can love you imagine that. how yes. different culture would be if you did that? Yeah. My God, how different would our world be if we did that instead? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I like that. And I would say I did do that a good bit with my kids because I That's homeschooled. Awesome. And they would often get up excited about whatever that dream they had, awesome. you know. And I learned to be a good listener from homeschooling my kids. So cool. You know. And just like I was really interested. And I was interested in their process and who they were becoming, you know. Exactly. 
Exactly. That's what it takes. And I still am, you know. I love my kids and my grandkids and, like, the little people. They Little people. They, well, we are yes. kind of little, you know, five foot tall. I am. <laughs> mayor of the Munchkin City. It yes. kind of looks like balloons now, if you want to look. Beautiful. And, like, grass. I like the purple. And... That's really pretty. So, you know, I've said before, it seems in my world, a painting's not finished until you get out the purple paint. Oh, uh, wow. There needs to be purple. I don't know. That's awesome. I hope you're enjoying whatever it is, because that's the point. Just enjoying the creative process and enjoying it together with friends. Totally. You know, and recognizing that totally. the good love and energy that Jenny's putting into her bracelet right now is, like, also affecting... The energy then that I'm putting into my painting and vice versa. Exactly. It's like a hula hoop. Exactly. You know, and like my hermit friend, and she's not so much of a hermit anymore, I'll tell you. She's getting a little social. My friend in West Virginia, but she used to I say see. to me, well, I understand that I do need to have people come to my home and, and host little get-togethers at my home on occasion because it's good for me and... The good energy that we share in that space lingers. Totally. Right? You well, know, it gets so... you through other stuff. So if you have something you have to go through that's difficult, it, it, it stays in there. It shapes from the inside your experience of your life when you bring wonderful people into it. And, you, and you I've tended to really hermit myself in the last yeah. months. Like, oh my gosh, being a person who really... Is, likes to be connected right. to nature, yeah. likes to be outside. The other day I went, I haven't left the house in, oh crap, I don't even know. It's been a while since I even stepped outside. We went out to we went to we went out, Yeah, she pulled me out of my hole a couple times, and that's good. Well, she asked <laughs> me in the most interesting way. I had I was going to meet someone, and they blew me off, and I was. she was just like, you want to go? And I was like, yeah, when? And she was like, now. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's do it. So we did. We you know, because I know, never know how I'm going to feel later. So <laughs> I like to seize oh, the now, you purples. know. Gotta get into the and I guess that's purples. it. Always seizing the now. Because totally. we're only ever now, you know. Yeah, totally. We're only really ever now. That's yeah. right. The past is gone, and the future isn't really here yet, so... So we can only, like, feel good now. Yeah, exactly. Take a deep breath on that and feel good now. Feel your feet on the floor again. I'm going to do some... There is one viewer movies. still with us. I appreciate you hanging in. Is that right. Billy? I think it's Billy. Um, so, yeah. Um, I've covered most of the canvas at this point. So, for me, my creative process... Um, this is when I would pause, perhaps, and give it a little bit of a longer uh -huh. view and look at it from far away for a minute. Actually, for you at home, I'm going to, I love you too, Billy, I see you. I'm going to bring it closer so you can get a look at what I've done so far. Mm, I'm gonna... So I started with the yellows and the oranges, and then as I came towards the edges, it turned to the deeper blues and greens growing up there, grass-like from the bottom. Maybe put yours on top of there and see what that yeah, looks like. I'll flip this mine. to white. Let me flip it to white. And there we go. I'm I just gotta flip back there a little bit because it's hard to see. But um, so I'm gonna add the purples and the blues in next because those really come up on the sides of her canvas. If you turn it back around, um, the the purples and the blues and the greens are on the outside. So I'm gonna introduce those colors next. But I haven't. I'm still working on the. See if you look really closely. Turn back around again. If you look really closely, there's this intricate beading process that's going on at the top, like if you can see it. Each one of these has beads on the top that are then woven back and forth with the wire. So that's what I'm doing. So one thing I think we're finding here is that Kim designs faster than I do, which is fine. <laughs> but um, what I was going to say, too, about this is this part of a painting goes with the quickness for me. Yeah. Because what my goal is is to cover the canvas. Yeah. With the quickness and not the conscious mind being yeah, involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I may 
put it where I can see it. Yeah. And stand back and drink some coffee and look at yeah, it. And, or drink some sure. water. I have both available. I'm going to drink sure. water right now. Hydrate people. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's interesting. Mm hmm. Oh, it's I beautiful. really like the scene of the canvas with the palette and the beads and yeah, we like see all some of it. Pictures, well, probably. but the phone's being used right there, but we oh, will I mean, when we're we done. We will when we're done. That's what I mean. Yeah. And you all at home, um, maybe um, you have somebody at home with you that you could sit together. Thanks, Billy. And uh, she says, beautiful work. Oh, thank um, you so much. You know, um, Find an opportunity to get together with your friends and everybody just bring whatever it is they create, you know, bring their tools. And we all, we're all constantly learning from one another. Well we're, said. You know, we're sponges. Um, we call the baby, the 13 month old, a super sponge. He's a super sponge, man. He is learning so fast, like everything. You know? Yeah, I'm sure. Right, that's you how know? they are at that age. Yeah. They just want to internalize everything. Yeah. So you know that muscle movement. Everything you do is affecting everything you do. Totally. Even though nothing really matters. <laughs> totally. Totally. I heard you snort. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for recognizing. <laughs> I have a group of snorting friends. <laughs> Stephanie, if you're out there, I love you. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, laughter is good medicine. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. Uh, so treat yourself as a precious object. Do the things you love to do. It's totally. amazing, you know. It's so fun to have an opportunity to do something different. I like, know. I agree. You know, Wonderful. that's how you get to amaze yourself. Absolutely. You know, you're not going to amaze yourself sitting there doing the same old routine or thinking about the thing. Yeah. Now, thinking about the thing is good because all that imagining, it's going to be real. You know, I had somebody say to me, oh, I've been watching. I've been doing the videos with you, Kim, and I finally got the paints. That's I, fantastic. Yeah, and she said, I think tomorrow's the day. Oh, that's so great. You know, I don't know when that morrow was, but... <laughs> One of those morrows. Closer than it was before. Than it was you before. know. That's what matters. So, uh, say nice things to your kid's self when it gets fussy. That's my advice For on sure. that. You know. And take your kid to do new things, too. Like, don't just show them the same stuff. Little kids. Right. You know, we call those kids. artist dates. Totally. You know, like, take your kid out on an artist they date. They want to see new stuff. Yeah. They don't want the same old stuff. That's all right. Time. No matter how old you get, you know, and sometimes, you know, I just want to say, like, oh, dealing with mm, my coping me mechanism of withdrawing. Oh, yeah. From everyone and everything. Yeah. And having labels placed upon me that maybe frighten others a little. It can be really lonely. Yeah. And, um, what is my point? If you have a friend that goes quiet, check on them. No, totally. Like lovingly. That's like right. Not judgingly. No, like if that's they disappear right. from the scene, mm, they may have withdrawn within. Yeah. You know, like even in my Good household point. of four adults. Yeah. If that one adult over there has been unusually quiet today, and I'm recognizing like some body language, foot tapping, arms crossed. Totally. Right? Yeah, there, absolutely. There's some stewing. There's something not not connecting yeah. uh, most harmoniously as it could be, I guess, is what I want to say. And um, Body language is huge. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and well, I guess, you know, I, it's when we need a hug most that we're least huggable. That's totally true. <laughs> Boy, how do y'all say? That is the truth. So, you know, it's a hard one. You know, like, I've had friends say to me before, wow, Jody Kay, you remember Jody yeah, Kay. Yeah, yeah. You're one of the only people who will get close to it. Yeah. And by it, she meant the darkness that she dealt with, that I deal with, you know, we you probably know, all do. And I think, too, that brings up this idea that, like, I think we really do ourselves a disservice when we don't deal with our darkness. We have to contain it, right? Like a firm, loving mother who says... 
let's go out and see the sun, but tell me what you're feeling. What makes you sad? You know, that's really scary. So we have to tend our emotions, right? But we can't ignore them because when we ignore them, they just get bigger. Yeah. It's their un unknown, right? And they just take up more space. And they come out loud. Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with just saying, wow, I'm experiencing some really tough stuff right now, you know. I know how to get through it because I know how to make art. I know how to take walks, but boy, am I. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so I've been the withdrawn one lately. I'm just saying. And yeah. even like, even withdrawn from myself and my normal um, yeah. feeling good. Um, and I understand why. Mm hmm. Um, I'm on my way out. Mm -hmm. So big news, y'all. Um, I had a meeting with a gallery here in Columbus, and I'm going to be showing my art at a gallery. So cool. Yeah, April through May. And, um, it's called the Fresh Air Gallery. And Is that the one that's connected with Southeast? They are connected yeah, with Southeast, Southeast which is a nonprofit. Yeah. And um, the Fresh Air Gallery shows the art of those affected by mental health issues and or substance abuse. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited and I'm not even, yeah, I'm excited to I'm have sure. this opportunity to share you my work there. Um, there's only six artists gonna be sharing their work in the gallery through this whole year. That's so we get a little over a month each and you know, then there's downtime between shows. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll be posting more information about that I did show at that gallery 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I did a, how, a show of photographs of old abandoned houses called House Where Nobody Lives. Mm -hmm. And that show was um, addressing the idea of labels and judgment. And um, so the photographs of the old houses, and it looks maybe sad and in disarray, um, but you can only imagine the stories and what went on on the mm. inside, you know, and you don't know. You don't know. You weren't there. So same with every human you meet. You don't know. No, you don't You know. weren't there. You don't know. So I have been hearing more and more the universe saying to me, Kim, be kinder. Oh, yeah. Be kinder. Be kinder yeah. to yourself first. Yeah. And then be kinder to those around you. And We're all like going, what the heck? And also, here. when you're kinder, then you're you're putting that kindness out into the world, and maybe they don't know how to be kind to themselves. And that, there's a lot of that. We're not trained to be kind to ourselves. Them how to be kind, and we're and they're teaching us. You know, with everything we do, we're we're doing that. Yeah. Kindness matters. Totally. Totally. So now. I see I went yellow in the middle and then the blues and purples and now the yellow is coming back on the edges. So here's what I've got. Uh, yeah, let me put my glasses on so I can see better. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It oh, and it feels circusy to me. I know it does to me too. It does too, so we're creating a circus of purpose. A yeah, a circus show, of indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Keep watching. Totally, totally. But I like that idea that you are the main character in the circus that is your life. Yeah. You know? And you make it up as you go along. You're creating the character. Oh, my God. I had a dream a long time ago about having an art gallery in my house. And there were these police who broke in. And I ran out the side door. And I was in this cemetery in the side yard. And all I wanted these police to know was that I had this art gallery of art that I'd created. But, and I couldn't tell them because they didn't care. And I was like, oh my gosh. How could you not how care? How did I tell them that, that they have to be really gentle in my space because there's all this art there? <laughs> <laughs> like, Ooh, so that's like, really like huge. What do we like pay huge. attention to, right? Like, right. what do we pay attention to? Do we pay attention to the parts of ourselves that scare us or freak us out or want to confine oh. us? Or do we pay attention to the parts that make art? Like, who do we please, right? Right. <laughs> who do we please? The oh my gosh, I had... I had our artist selves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look how fun. It's beautiful. It's really fun. It's lovely. 
And this is interesting for me too, to like paint like this way. I'm kind of painting upside down and so that y'all can see. Yeah. You know? Um, I could have brought that camera closer for you. Yeah, well maybe if we do it again. Maybe yeah. We'll... So, yeah, the technical part of the setting up and the film. We don't know what we're doing. This yeah, is an experiment. Just, yeah. <laughs> it's always been experimental, y'all. But I think it's working really well. Yeah, I do too. That's fun. Yeah, it really is. So have fun, you know? Totally. Think about ways. And, and it's interesting that we as we think we're grown-ups and we're supposed to be grown-ups and we're supposed to be doing this stuff and taking care of the things and the responsibilities and... Um, we get so into that that we forget to have fun. Right. So I'm going to say, yeah. schedule some fun for yourself Absolutely. this coming week. Absolutely. Um, even daily. Can you have, like, introduce some fun on the daily? Or just think about the idea of your household, your family. How much fun have y'all been having? Yeah. You know, are you stressed now? Yeah. Are you just stuck in the routine? Are people laughing? Mm -hmm. There's a good question. Oh yeah, are people laughing? Man, when I lived with Jody Kay and all those kids, yeah, people were laughing. Oh, I'll bet. I'll bet. <laughs> people I'll bet. were. There was just yeah, and in the household I live in now, people were laughing. That baby's That's funny. Great. That baby's a hoot. Yesterday, awesome. and like I like to do what he does. This is another way to entertain your child self. You know, get mm -hmm. with the youngest person you can find and just do whatever they do, mirror mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So Aiden, 13 months old, is walking around the house yesterday because he just learned to walk now by himself. Oh. But he's also constantly experimenting with his voice. So he was walking around, <laughs> screaming as loud as he could for as long as he could. It was great. Oh, that's fantastic. And he loves it if you join him. Love that. Oh yeah, so we just had like we screamed our willies out. It was good. <laughs> That's awesome. It was good. I'm gonna get a smaller brush now. If you've painted me with me before, you know that the brushes start big and get smaller as you get closer to the end, or as you add detail or whatever. So I'm gonna get a smaller. I brush love the now. yellow in the corner. The yellow. Yeah, yeah I think we need some over here too. Not me, but we're gonna. That's, yeah. I need some more white on my. So, morning pages. Um, I'd love to hear your experiences with those. I know I have a lot of people out there that are new to morning pages and working with those. I've been writing morning pages myself, which is three pages of brain drain. Let the hand move across the page, say whatever you want, silence mm -hmm. the sensor. Don't have to think about it or criticize it. Just write it um, in the morning, give it, you know, whatever it is. Sometimes it's profound poetry. Sometimes it's bitching and complaining, whatever. Um, but I've been doing that for, oh, 29 years now. I do that too, but I do it with a tape recorder, oh, and oh, then I oh. erase it. But because I'm more auditory than, than... I like that. And I can't read my writing once I write uh, it down. <laughs> well, <Yeah. laughs> I've also thought about that. I write in cursive. Or yeah. it's, it's my combination of cursive and print. Yeah. I abbreviate a lot. I have totally. symbols I use for words. So there are piles and piles of these journals. Yeah. They will be discovered by someone someday yeah. that goes, oh God, I can't read them. Right. Exactly. Right. But, can anybody decipher <laughs> this? What is this? Is this English? Right, like, right. Is it a different language? It's just like, yeah, so. So it's interesting. I love my journals. I have them sitting in my art space where I can see them. All the covers are different, you know. And I don't look back on them often, occasionally. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not the point, you know. Yeah. That conversation with the self. Getting used to that. And then getting used to say nice things to the self. Because we're not programmed that way either. No, like, we're not. Like, when I first started speaking kindly to myself, there were people in my life that made fun of me. Aww. Um, and we don't know, too. And I'm like, I'm experimenting with new way of being. That's How do you get to a new way of being if you don't try it? Right. Right? Right. right. And we don't know, too, if we don't grow up with kind things being said to us, that we should say kind things to ourselves. So our internal uh, voice our, is, right. critical. is critical, you know. So we have to really work at that. We have to reparent ourselves. Yes. Yeah, so 
simple things like treating myself as a precious object makes it so. Totally. I'm fine, exactly as I am. It can be so simple. Yeah. You know? Just a little positive affirmation. What do you think about like tripping yourself up by um, having too lofty of goals? Uh, you know, that's a really interesting topic because in my younger years, I was very, very ambitious and I have internalized a lot my dad's voice, which is very much, and maybe you guys can identify with this, but it's very much if you're not doing, then you are, are not, right. are not worthy. Aliens. You're not worthy right. if you're not doing. And we have to recognize that our bodies need to rest and relax and recuperate and that sometimes you know, I always do this thing where I like will create a list and then I'll kind of get what I call into a whirlpool. So I'll give myself a lot of time in that space to get those things done. Instead of being like really diligent and dogged, I'll be like, oh, I'm in a whirlpool and I got these five things I got to do. And maybe it'll take three days, maybe it'll take five days, maybe it'll take six days. And I just kind of let everything whirl around in there. And then I approach it in my own unique way instead of trying to push myself to do it. I like that. And it feels so much better. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And what I do you have, think, Kim? What do you do? Well, I'm very much a what list maker. Think? Yeah. And I have very lofty goals for yeah. myself. But I was going to say one thing you said to me in our one of our earlier coffee dates when mm -hmm. I was telling you about all my big lofty goals and blah, blah, blah. And then yeah. I'm going to, and then and then, and a little bit, yeah. get all excited. And you said, Kim, what if you just focused on doing a show? Yeah. And I went, yeah. Oh, well, that sounds a lot easier and doesn't scare me so bad. Yes, yeah, one thing. And guess what? I'm doing a show. I know. That's fantastic. You maybe did. Maybe it's because you said that sentence. Maybe, maybe. May I mean, I definitely, you know, everything. Focus the energy yeah, so yeah, I'm really something. excited about that. Of course you should be. Yes. It's wonderful. So. Well, that's the thing. So, yeah, so it's do. like baby steps and breaking it up into pieces that you can handle. And that's the you thing know? about you. You just make it happen. You're just like, well, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do that. You know? Yep. Here I am. It's I'm going to do that thing. It's wonderful energy when you can just do that. Well, thanks. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I am scared a lot, though. Don't, like, let me fool you. I think anybody yeah. who does things that are out of the box is scared. I think that's totally, yeah. totally Georgia O'Keefe said she was scared like 98.9% .9 of the time, but she never let it stop her from doing a thing she wanted to do. There's, Whoa, that's powerful. There's a particular so, actress. Look at that, y'all. All, all the colors swirling. To, and she talks about how she's scared all the time. Whatever she's doing, she's scared to be doing it. But she, she just does it. And she just does it and does it and does it. The, and I really take inspiration from her. I like that. You know, She gets I, me to the pool. She gets me to do the art. She right? gets me to clean the kitchen. You know, if I'm like, I think I just think of Kelly McCormick and I, I like think that. about her and what she would do. And she would just, you know, do it and just move through the fear. Yeah. And love well, herself through that process. And then I'm able to. What I realized was, okay, I'm scared. Yeah. Okay, oh I'm doing God. this and I'm scared. I'm doing I that know. and I'm scared. Fine. I'm doing what I don't want to do and Fine. I'm scared. I'm doing what I do want to do and I'm scared. So why would I do what I don't want to do? That's right. And why would you not do anything? Because and why would you not yeah. do anything if you're going to be scared all the time? Anyway, it. be scared doing the thing well, that... And then you find yourself not being scared eventually. That's what I was going to say. The word that keeps coming up scared. for me is a nerd, which is... When you, you say a nerd? A nerd in nerd, when okay. it, which is when you anticipate the fear that you uh -huh. might feel and you Ooh, kind of ferry your way through it. You don't stop, but you get better at dealing with yes. it so that you can contain it, you know, so for I, yourself. Yeah, so I, I just, oh yeah. we got something going on here, ladies and gentlemen. We like, do. We're doing it's this working. wonderful collaboration of all this creative energy like look at these fireballs that we there. are boing 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 like yeah <laughs> i just added some more brighter yellow too good um good good okay now i think i'm ready yeah. for the next i think there's more yellow for the blues take some deep breaths wherever you are maybe take a pause and take a look at what you've done in your creative process Remember, there's no good or bad. Only thinking makes that so, so don't bother thinking that way. Yeah. You know, it's just the creative process you're in the midst of. It's a work in progress.
you'll know when it's complete. And when you do, I always encourage you to sign your art, of course, honor it in that way. Um, do you have a signature thing you do on your bracelets that says... Well, I did, I, each bracelet that I design has a name. So I pick up energetically what the name would be for your bracelet. And when it's sitting in the alchemy bowl, I work with that. I start to work with the themes and symbols and energies of the design so that by the time it comes to you, it has a name that it has as well. Uh -huh. so. so do you have a name for this one yet that you could share or I'm not? I'm thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> sitting with it. Yes. I like your circus idea. It does seem like a carnival or a circus or for sure. Right. Definitely all of that. Yeah. And I got to get some green in there. And yes. It's going to flow really, really nice together. There. It'll, it really, really is. Really nice. Yeah. Oh, hi, Melanie. Good to see <laughs> you. Caroline, I see you there. Good to see you. Mm. Y'all remember Romper Room? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bumper, bumper, stomper, boo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> do you have a breathing practice? Yeah, I do. A lot of times in the morning when I get up, I feel... I will feel overwhelmed and I will slow down. Last time I go to the coffee shop and start working on stuff. And I'll just slow down and I'll just breathe in and out. And then sometimes I'll work with my chakras and kind of come up and check in with each chakra and see how it's feeling. And then sometimes I'll do animal totem work with that as well and see what Ooh, my I animals have a lot are of animal me. energy. I maybe talk to you about that off yeah. camera, about what's been showing up in some of my art. I yeah. have some super secret art happening for this upper, upcoming show. Mm -hmm. So uh, you won't be seeing it until the show. And then you must come. Um, so like you're weaving those, I see what you're doing is weaving those beads together, weaving mm -hmm. like the creative energies together. So now I'm like taking the yellow up between the other mm -hmm. colors just for you at home too. So now I'm doing like an up-down motion with a smaller brush and just taking some bright yellow and weaving it now between the purples and yellows. You know, everything overlaps. Um, that's one thing. Like, we do get do-overs. You can start over. You can paint over. That's what I love about art. Yes. It's so forgiving. Yes. It's the most forgiving thing in the world. And all you have to do is just paint over it or redo it. A lot of times with these sacred bracelets, I'll get something that I've started on and it won't feel quite right. And I'll just undo it and redo right. it. <laughs> it's yeah. so forgiving. I try never to just paint all the way back to white. But I have to admit, I did do that recently, and that mm -hmm. was different for me. I'm like, huh, I don't, I've never done that before. Felt the need to just go completely back to the white canvas and start over, mm -hmm. you know. But that was a whole learning process, too. I like to write about the creative process. Like, you know, some of my paintings, I have one I've been working on for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And why does it take that long? Because I'm processing emotions and things and memories and stuff that affect that work and yeah. I'm not yeah. always ready to put it on the page or on the canvas or whatnot. Um, I have one canvas that I've been working on for about a year that I have to cover it up when I'm not working on it because it just screams at me too loud. Yeah. And um, yeah, so yeah, I don't know what its future holds and that's none of my business. <laughs> I like to think about I, a lot of times I'll find myself um, when I'm going through my day and I'm doing just mundane things or just things that need done. I'll be thinking about an art project or I'll be thinking about a color or I'll be thinking yes. about a theme. or, And I'll realize that I'm starting to create the design in my mind before I even yes. get to the... I'm sure you feel yes. that way too. Yeah. Well, I recently posted, and some of you might have seen, I did like a family and they wanted it to look like they were at a Grateful Dead show. Mm-hmm. And, um, man, I processed that and thought about that and dreamed about that mm -hmm. for months before I was ready mm -hmm. to paint it. And then it only took like a couple days, week, two weeks maybe, to get it how I wanted it on the canvas. Um, but yeah, a lot of the, and people will say that, like, why does your paintings take so long? Um, 
because I don't control the timing of things, for one, I don't allow myself to even ask that question of when it will be done. Yeah. Which I want to try to even do that with this upcoming show. I'd like to create some other new things for this upcoming show, but I don't want to give myself that time restraint pressure too much. Mm -hmm. Although maybe that would be another interesting thing for me to work under because I'm not used to it. Anyway, that's planning and neither here nor there right now. Come to now if you're thinking too much. I am. <laughs> yes, but we're making. It looks very similar. Yeah. I think it's working. It's working. <laughs> it's I can't wait to see like what we do like outside. So we're planning oh. to go to a festival together. Yeah. And do this. Well, now I feel a lot more like I can do this. Like yes. It's doable because I was like, I don't know, but it. I think it's do it all <laughs> to do it together <laughs> i love it i love it so a collaboration you know you tend to think of a collaboration yeah. that you're working on the same piece of art together yeah so this is a little twist on that and so are my guided paintings like we're not all working we're all working on the same painting we're going to make the same painting as the guide is making mm -hmm. but they're all different yeah they all end up being so different and that's part of it i personally feel that any art is got you in it mm -hmm. you know yeah for that, sure um so like i would know excited. your bracelets and you'd be like oh those are, you're getting excited <laughs> you you excited right there. <laughs> <laughs> more Woo! purple more purple i'm feeling <laughs> <laughs> totally yeah exactly that's exactly the color i'm pulling that's Ooh, funny more purple. That's funny. just make it fun you know and like whatever your creative thing is for me it's painting why wouldn't I try to do this, that, or the other on the canvas? What's it going to hurt if I make a black mark there and then decide, oh, well, now I need to make another black mark or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, what does it, it doesn't really matter. No. Like, what, I, yeah, but we get nervous sometimes. I think it gets us into the moment. The process of just creating gets us into the moment. It gets us past that place where we're. Yes. You know, and an impact. And, and when you're creating, maybe you have your favorite music on yeah. or whatever. Okay. And and for being being a mom, mm -hmm. being self-employed, working from home mm -hmm. a lot of the time, there's a lot of distractions in yeah, life. Yeah, for sure. And so I had to learn not to be angry if the children needed me. Yeah. And to just not? be able yeah. to go, okay, sure. that's right now. And they need me, and it's okay to put this art down and calmly go attend to their needs and know that I'll get back to the art. A big one of my you lessons know. is even if I have a lot of other things to do in my life, like tasks that need to get done, I have a right to make space for my art and my creativity right. and my intuition. And that I will live better if I do that, That's if right. I trust that process. Yes. You will feel better. Then you interact with the people around you better exactly. when you make space for that. And it encourages other people to do the same. Yes, when they for see sure. You doing it. Like when people see you sitting beating at the coffee shop. Yeah. They may go, oh, that's oh, something I, I could bring do. my crocheting exactly. over here. Exactly. And sit over here instead. For sure. What would you say going out of your personal space to create, how does that affect? Oh my so like gosh. going to the coffee shop. I That's not, love it. Yeah. I adore it. It is time. If I get too bogged down, because I have a lot going on right now in my life, I'm in a big place of transition. But, um, but I, I just go to the coffee shop and I bring a project and I have a, I have a a little uh, thing that I put inside my bag so that I can take a project with me all the time. And as soon as I get the beads out on the table, I start to relax and I start to feel better. And I start to move into this space where I'm reminded of what my life is really about. It's not about making sure you get all this stuff done on your list and all that. It's about your creative process. It's about expressing the uniqueness expressing of your yourself. experience. Absolutely. You, right? Absolutely. That's what the soul wants to do is just express itself. Absolutely. And we live so much better when we do. We, we make better decisions and choices. You know, we allow ourselves more freedom and joy. So turn your magic on, everybody. Totally. 
yeah, it's been an interesting practice for me to do my art in public spaces. Mm -hmm. um, it actually makes me more comfortable mm -hmm. in the public space. And oh, I agree. Others. I agree. Yeah. It, it does I feel too. like, yeah. And, and to me, that's just proof of, you know, if we all did what made us shine, if each one of us individually did that, just showed up on the scene today and did that thing that makes us feel wonderful. Better. Yeah. And that Good. creates even maybe that thing that then the end result is something beautiful. Or and that's ground. Right. Yeah. Um, instead of, yeah, we got to show up to turn the wheel, make the donuts, and yeah. get the cash. Totally. <laughs> totally. So, yeah. Make time for your creative self, I guess, is our point. Absolutely. And collaborate with your friends. Yeah. Share with your friends. Please. You know, it's my hope with these creative companion groups online, mm -hmm. and I go and do them like a, in person, mm -hmm. did some Girl Scout troops and... Um, but some other things that were just a group of people getting together. And it's my hope that they'll get together on the regular then if they haven't been. Yeah. You know, and see how good that felt to be there with your friends, making To literally be there, too, as know, much as you can. You right, know. and to be present. Absolutely. Like I'm twirling. Mm, very pretty. Very, very it's kinda, pretty. It's looking now like a field of flowers to me, maybe with the light coming from the back. That's the thing with art. It doesn't have to be defined as a thing. No. Like, what is it? That doesn't matter. Does no. it look beautiful and appealing to you to visual to visually see that? Well, then it's beautiful. That was always a question mm -hmm. sometimes in photography. Mm -hmm. If it was like an abstract photograph. Well, what mm -hmm. is it? People would always go, well, what oh, is know. it? What is it? It gets hung up on that. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not the point. No. Look, it's pretty. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. See the line? Thanks, you feel them. Yeah. <laughs> it has yellow. That's fun. <laughs> yellow is pretty. <laughs> pretty stuff makes me happy. Exactly. <laughs> we want to be happy, don't we? Totally. <laughs> Time check. Yeah. Push on here to make it wake up and tell me what time it is. Here, get your, another. Like oh, yeah. When your hands are free. Yeah. Oh, what do you want me to do? I'm sorry. Tell me what time it is. Oh, duh. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> 12 o'clock. Oh, is it really? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. We've, we've um, used up an hour of time being creative and having fun and giggling and laughing. Totally. I think that's great. We have one viewer with us. Fun, fun, fun. Good, Carolyn. I love you, honey. Uh, thanks for like always commenting on the baby's pictures and stuff. Me and Aubrey love you. We love hearing from you. So here's what I got so oh, far, and see. then let's have Jenny bring hers up here, too. Maybe first hold it above mine, Maybe. if you could, yeah, like from the top. I'm working on it. Let me pull these the away. So oh, you got a lot see. done. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. I'm working on the second set of, um, of, uh. How fun is that? So let me flip. Yeah, sure. So you can see it against the white, everybody. Yeah. And it's building. It, it'll build like this. So. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to continue painting purples. on mine as well. <laughs> I'm going to take some purples. time to look at it now. But we're going to close Creative Companions yeah. for now in the live feed. So take some deep breaths. Smile at the wonderful time you've had and the beautiful thing you've created. And we'll be sure to post pictures of these when, when they're, they're done. done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love you so Bye. much. Thanks Have a good for week. Me. See you next week. <laughs>